So, uh, what is the training like on, for keeping school safe, basically? Uh, from a police perspective, there's a lot of different trainings that we go through to make sure the school's safe. Um, we go through ALICE training, which is active shooter training, to make sure that there is no violent encounters that occur at the school. Um, but we also go through other training um, to make sure that we also are pretty aware of the wellness of the students and that we're here as a support for them as well because that's a major um, safety concern as well, making sure that everybody feels comfortable and safe where they're in their environment here. All right, so uh, have you ever had to do any drills with, per se, a student that's doing something unsafe in the school? Just a drill, similarly. Uh, at this point in time, I haven't because uh, I just got this position. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so there are going to be training, there are going to be drills. Um, I've already been advised of the different drills and training that we're going to be doing here. Um, fire drills, Alice drills, uh, to make sure that everything's running smoothly in the school. Yeah, all right, so based on that, I'm going to assume that there is uh, What do you do for the safety of CSMS? Um, I make sure that students are healthy and being safe by not passing on any contagious issues. Mm -hmm. uh, what rules are made for CSMS safety that you put in place? Um, I helped initiate the COVID protocol. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you make sure that the kids follow these rules? We have the blue cards in place and we also do self-certification for the staff. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think CSMS is safe? Yes. All right, so what would you do if someone caught the Rona? Um, well, we have, there's um, rules in place with the Lake County Health Department that we have to do what's called a red cap and file everything. What do you do to protect the students? So what we do at Sandberg to protect the students is one, we live the code. And the first piece of the code is creating community. So through homeroom, through advisory, through ninth hour extra time this year, we try to establish a positive, collaborative community where students own their activities and their, their actions. And to that end, we also have uh, four rules or four rights with five rules, and they're pretty basic. You know, it's res and they're based around respect. We go over those, and then beyond that, what we do is we do have a security system. We have cameras in the building to make sure if something happens in the hallways, we can we can see what happened and find people or or you know just just see everything. We have a, a, a two-way entry system that you have to be buzzed in so strangers can't come into the building. We practice crisis lockdowns. Everybody who was here on Thursday just a couple months ago went through one of those. We do fire drills. We do bus evacuation drills. In PE, we did a disaster drill. So all of those things we do to protect the kids. But really, it's living the Tiger Code that protects us the most. If we live the code, we will be prepared for any possibility. How did, how did the rules you put in place protect the students? Um, well, again, if we, live in, if we live the Tiger Code and people want to create a community and take ownership for their actions, Creating a community means you're a good friend, means you listen, means you support people. And if you own your actions and you take responsibility for yourself, then that is how we keep everybody safe, by living the code. How important is it to make sure these rules are followed and why? How important? I think it's very important to make sure the, the living the Tiger Code and all of these rules are followed because that sets the standard of expectations for our adults, for our students, for everybody who comes into the building. Uh, why do you have a police officer in the school? So what we have Officer Chris Peer for currently, and we're going to introduce um, Officer Sexton, uh, who's our new liaison officer coming up. We established that program probably 20 years ago as a partnership. How are you trained on keeping the school safe? I was trained two years ago over the summer. We went for a two-day in-service, uh, keeping people safe and um, you know, run, fight, run, fight, and hide, and making sure that you are prepared in case of emergency. Mm -hmm.
Have you ever had to deal with someone coming into school? No. No. I have never had to. Thankfully, no. Yes. What else can you do to keep the school safe? Practice. Um, you know, when, you, when you're in that situation, it's going to be, it could be very difficult, and hopefully we never face it, but practice and knowing what to do in that case. and That's why we have drills, That's right, drills. and training. Be diligent and be aware of our surroundings. And what can you do to help them? Have you ever trained slash taught other people to keep the school safe? Yes, we had a training last November in 2019 with the whole district staff and we ran them through the drills and what to do in case of an intruder. Yep. What do you do for the safety of CSMS? I do my best to enforce the rules uh, that have been set forth by the administration so that students are safe. How do you make sure the kids follow these rules? Uh, in PE specifically, at the beginning of the year, we go over our rules and expectations for the gym and the locker rooms, uh, and then we work really hard to make sure that we are consistent with them throughout the year. Do you think CSMS is safe? Yes. What rules are made for CSMS's safety? Uh, one that I can think of right now is we're standing by a bunch of doors, is that we shouldn't open the door for someone that we don't know or don't recognize. All visitors need to enter through the main entrance and sign in. Uh, students should not be unattended outdoors. We have radios that we use to communicate with each other, a whole host of things. What would you do if someone caught Corona? If someone came to school and let me know that they knew that they had Corona, I would send them to the nurse's office. What do you do for the safety of CSM? <laughs> <laughs>